It's electric. That's the theme for this year's APS Electric Light Parade, illuminating the streets of Central Phoenix this Saturday night. It's it coming up. It's going to be <laughs> so much fun. There's a new Grand Marshal and some new floats to look forward to Ooh. as well. Our Nohe Lani Graf live in Phoenix giving us a preview of what we can expect. Is that snow behind Good you? Good morning, ladies. I it is. I know. <laughs> no, not snow. Oh. Bubbles. Okay. Oh. Bubbles. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> now imagine the kids are going to go crazy when they see bubbles passing. They put so much work into all of these floats to make them different and unique every year. So here to talk about it this morning is our friend Adam Walt from the city of Phoenix, who you know well. He was doing an inflatable <laughs> for me earlier, so because I, I forgot the apple box. Um, so tell me about this float because this yeah. one is one of the more intricate ones. They're already noticing the bubbles. They were asking if it was. No. Oh, absolutely. This is our aquatics float put on by our special ops division. They do a fantastic job every single year. You've got the slide. Santa is just chilling. <laughs> our elves are coming down into the pool. Um, this whole thing is just lit up from front to back. And then you have our elf on the shelf. You can call him Buddy or whatever you want to call him, whatever your elf's name is. He's doing a cannonball off a diving board. <laughs> and then as you saw earlier, the bubbles, they do a, an amazing job at this every single year and they didn't disappoint. Very on brand for the city of Phoenix because of course we've talked a lot about mm -hmm. the need for lifeguards. So this is your rolling reminder yes. even in the winter. It's never too early to think about your summer job. We're <laughs> always hiring for lifeguards. So if you have a teen check or, or you're interested, check us out. So with floats like this, we know that this is such a big production. Mm -hmm. How many other entries are we going to see and kind of what do people need to know if yep. they're going to be staking their claim because it gets packed mm -hmm. out there. Yes, yeah, so we have about 100 entries and that includes marching bands. Some entries have caravans or multiple vehicles or big trucks or big floats like ours. Um, need to know, you know, there's no parking along the parade route, so make sure you have a plan on how to get to the parade, um, taking public transit or walking. Um, it's a rain or shine event, so it's happening no matter what. Bring blankets, bring chairs, um, be courteous to others, have fun, and um, just enjoy it. And, and if you have any, you know, we have a lot of information online as well at phoenix.gov slash parks slash ELP, but um, just plan ahead before you go. You know, this is one of those do not miss events because, of course, every city tries to do something and they've got a, maybe a tree lighting or a smaller parade, but there's nothing quite like the APS Electric Light Parade. You're a dad, you've mm -hmm. got a family, you yeah. live here. Mm -hmm. What makes this one so different? So just on the heels of Thanksgiving, we're kind of kicking off that new renewed holiday spirit as we go through the month of December. You know, in its 36th year, now you have kids who are grown up taking their own kids to the parade. Yeah. So it's now becoming really generational and it's just an awesome fun event that's right in the heart of, of Central Phoenix. And it's just amazing and kids love it. Kids love lights and obviously the bubbles. So yeah. we just we're just so excited it's back. Yeah, the wonder is what always does it. That's for sure. So you've got to see this one. We showed you one of the other new floats this year. We also have a special preview for you of another new entrant and it's going to get wild. Yes, well, make sure you don't have any flares. Make sure you do not run. Walk slow and if you spot a T-Rex, stay still. So there's your word of warning. If you spot a T-Rex, stay still. You might be in survival mode for part of the parade. We're going to add a little merry T-Rex for you, and I will give you an even bigger look at what's to come coming up at 6 o'clock this morning. Kaylee and Amelia. That's going to make it even more <laughs> fun for a lot of little guys oh, and gals yeah. who love the T-Rex. Yeah. So awesome. Thanks so much, Nohe, for that sneak preview. <laughs> so it is the APS Electric Light Parade. It's happening Saturday, December 2nd. I know it's hard to believe. We just had Thanksgiving, right? December is almost here. So 7 p.m., it all starts at Central Avenue in Montebello, ending at 7th Street and Indian School Road and ABC 15. We are a proud sponsor of this holiday tradition. So if you can't make it, that's okay. If you can't make it in person. We're going to stream it for you live on abc15.com and your favorite streaming platforms.